our community is growing our youtube channel is growing i come to you today with so much excitement to announce to you that on this day uh, the 13th of may 2021 we have finally reached 1000 subscribers and i'm so grateful thank you very much to everyone that is part of this community thanks to every single one of you who are part of this community welcome to the channel welcome back if you are new to the channel welcome to this wonderful channel where we talk about real estate where we talk about the you know real estate in all its entirety especially my favorite the backroom industry township real estate economy thank you very much for watching if you are new obviously please do hit subscribe and also hit the like button so that you can help the videos uh, in the algorithm of YouTube. My name is Lindogu Shemnisi. Thank you very much for watching. In this short video, just out of the excitement that I have for today, I do have a, a couple of things that I want to address, a couple of things that I want to talk about, some things that will be helpful to you if you are interested in real estate, want to tap into real estate, or you want to grow your portfolio in real estate. Um, and one of the things that I want to start with, it's um, questions that have been asked. I've been asked a number of questions throughout the videos that we've posted. People have been asking a, num a number of questions. One of those questions is, how much does it cost to build the rental units? As you would understand, as you would remember, uh, as after 12 properties, we are in the, the business of providing affordable rental accommodation for low income earners in townships. So these are rooms or, uh, you know, bachelors and apartments, you, you know, and, and cottages. Some are just a room alone, which are for low, low income earners. And there are those with a toilet and a shower. And then there are those that has a shower only. And the toilet is shared amongst the community or amongst the people living in the yard. So it's a different types of setup in terms of the, of, of, of the, you know, rental units. And which is also another lesson for you. Maybe let's, before we, we tap into the questions that people have asked, let's address this one that I'm talking about now of the types of rental units that exist in the township that people can look into so there are a couple of them the first one that you can think of the first um rental units that you can build it's just a room it's just a room um where people can bring in their own wardrobes can bring in their own you know accessories and things that they need for their rooms but it's just a room it's a whole um, maybe three by three in terms of um, square meters, 3.5 by 3.5 or 3.5 by four, whatever space you have, you can just build just a room, put the tiles, put the ceilings, plaster the walls, put the paint and everything and it's done. The second part is now the, the, the cottages. A cottage will probably have a shower only or will have a shower and a toilet or a bath a bathtub so you decide what um you know suits you best uh but that is also just a room and then it has the smaller you know key, um, you know a a, a a a bathroom um for people who you know are moving into that room it's still just a hole and then just the you know the toilet and the shower on the side um and then also a cottage as as well where you can have now subdivided with the kitchen you know you put in a small kitchen there and and you run in the pipes and the water system for people to wash their dishes and also you put in the toilet and the shower on on, on the other side and you can subdivide now you have the kitchen side and you have the bedroom side it's just different types that you can look into to. some it's a one bedroom apartment where there's now the kitchen and the lounge and then there's the bathroom which is separated and then it has the bathroom um, side as well so those those are the different stages of you know the different steps or the different types of rental units that you can consider rental units that you can look into like when 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 we realized so we had some of those rental units where we, it was just a room um and as covid came we realized that we needed to you know relook into the whole thing because now um there was that challenge of you know um coronavirus spreading you know through sharing of 
toilets so we decided that we are going to now transform some of our rental units to add in the toilets to add in the showers so that people don't have to share you know these type of things and and it allows for social distancing so you might also want to look into ensuring that the rental units that you you you, you build they don't necessarily have to you you know not have a shower and a toilet or a bathroom um for people to always social distance so i think i've covered the number of you know types of you know rental units that you can tap into the number of you know um uh, uh, rental cottages and rooms and apartments that you can build and now there are different costs you know that are you know associated to every single one of them and to answer one of the questions that has been asked to say how much does it cost for one rental unit and 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 as i thought about this question i thought maybe in the video i can just give you you know an estimate of saying if you can have at least 30 30000 to begin with um which this is not how i look at it honestly but obviously because people have been asking i now have to answer to that to say how much does it cost to build these things i don't look at it in that way what i look at the way i do them is that i need a certain starting capital because you can do these things in phases you don't have to build all at once investing is a long-term game guys investing is a long-term game so you don't want to tap into it with the with the mindset that i need to build this and finish it you can build in stages you can build um for over a period of time saying to yourself i'm going to lay out the foundation so i'm going to lay out the find the foundation and then i'm going to put together some funds again to ensure that now i start building the walls as soon as the the walls are done then i can build i can put in the roof you don't have to do it all at once the way i do it is that i put in money where i can now put the foundation and then if money is enough and then i do in the walls and then if money is still enough then i put in the uh, the roofing you do not need to have all the finances from the word go you can do this thing in phases and in stages so that is an answer that i have for those people that are asking how much does it cost to build the rental units it, it it obviously will cost you money and you need to try find ways to, to 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 gather the money if you have it for yourself then that's great and one thing that i do um which is something that i also mentioned in one of the comments to say i can't teach you something that i don't do myself because then i'm teaching you something that i've learned in the books i've watched youtube videos i'm telling you about things that i do and if you get to learn from those that's great i'm happy if you get inspired by that then i'm great i'm inspired as well i'm happy if if, if that's the case but and then the, the then the answer to to the question of price is exactly that to say I, I don't necessarily know because it varies from place to place, from supplier to supplier in terms of the building materials. Um, it varies on different levels of these things. So have whatever amount that you have, make your, your quotations and go put what you can put. If it's only the foundation, put in the foundation. If you can put, you know, the, the uh, slab and go and build the walls, that's great. But it's a long-term investment. So even the building of the rental units is also a long-term game. Build it over a long period of time if you have to. For those that want to go and get money from, you know, somewhere like from the bank, from investors and from other people, um, then that's great. Get the money. But what I do is that I build the rental units. I build every single thing from our own money. So I don't have the luck of getting investors to, you know, give me money so I can, you know, build them. If, if, if that was the case, if I was getting some sort of investors, I was getting people putting in money so that I would have plenty of rental units, plenty of rental units, but I'm building from my own pocket, from the, from their pocket of 
my company, our business, which is also just owned by me, um, which is now it, it challenges in the in, in the steps that we take in building the rental units. So the cost associated to building varies from supplier to supplier, from the location that you are in and where, whatever you are looking into, right? And then the other question was, where do we get the land? How much is the land that we buy from? And where do we get the place, you know, to build these rental units? I've got videos that I've shot where I talk about the different, you know, um, uh, you know, options that you can look into for you to build the rental units. One, you can build at your own parents' house. You can build at your own parents' house. If they live in a township somewhere and there's a space where you can build a rental unit, build right there. That's the first part. The second part is you can partner with somebody who has the land. No, now, your neighbor has a space in their yard to build rental units. What you can do, you speak to the to the neighbor and you say, neighbor, I want to build rental units in your yard um, and I will then enter into a partnership with you where we can collect the rent together. Over a period of time, I will be collecting the rent with you, but after a certain period of time, then you can start collecting the rent on your own. There are different companies that are doing exactly that, where they go and partner with landlords and they build the yard the, the rental cottages in their yards and they don't tamper with them they don't tamper with the the, the the title deed of the owner of the property all you are doing is to build the rental units to build the cottages or, or whatever you are building and over a period of time usually five years um, where you are now collecting the rent together with the landlord now you make your calculations to make sure that within the five years you will have tripled your earnings from the rental rent um, you know earnings that you will be receiving every single month when you calculate over a period of five years or over a period of 10 years or whatever partnership you have with the landlord make sure that you make at least more than three times the amount of money you will have spent to build those rental units and you partner with another landlord another landlord and another landlord you don't have to own the property or the the yard that you built in so that's one that's another aspect in which you can look at to ensure that you build rental units as well we've done a partnership with a landlord where we've, we've built rental units um that is something that i do that's something that i advocate for that's something that can be done you just need to ensure that you do it it's safely and legally make sure that there's a contract drafted and it is a legally binding document in which you have included lawyers so that if you spend you spend money building rental units in someone's yard there is a contract there is a legally binding document that you have signed with the landlord which stipulates how much you'll be collecting on rent and how much they'll be getting on rent and for the rates and services and whatever needs to be covered by the landlord so that's the second way of ensuring that you 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 get into the real estate and grow your portfolio there are many other questions um the other way obviously of building so i've said you can talk to your parents you can talk to your family members who have a yard who have a big enough space for you to build and you have that partnership the other part is that you can um partner with any landlord any stranger and have a contract in place and the third part is that you can take up a bond you go to the bank the, the bank you take a bond and you you actually you know in that property you you buy a property that has a big enough space for you to build rental units that's the third uh, way of ensuring that you have space to build the thing about buying land and all that i haven't bought land i do not know how much it costs to buy land and i don't know soweto tembisa kailisha kukuletu i don't know all those places i live in midrand my our rental units um our footprint is in midrand we are looking into expanding to other places but as it currently stands right now in may 2021 we only have a footprint in midrand that is in calfonten um in allendale view and in ebony park those areas are all falling under Midrand, which is close to Tembisa. Those are the places that I know. 
now there are many other questions and i and, and i invite you to watch our videos because some of the questions that you might have are already answered in the in in the in, in the videos that we've shot before um if you have any other questions shoot the questions send through the questions and i'll ensure that every time i get time to record a video i look into the questions and answer to them but please engage with the content send us the questions make sure that you 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 are part of this community you are part of this family and let's build this together let's let's grow let's grow our you know real estate portfolios and let us learn as much as possible from each other if you are in real estate as well let me know if you have a YouTube channel. Let me know. Let me subscribe to your YouTube channel. Um, and let's grow together. Let's, you know, arrange a, um, a meeting. We can have a, an Instagram live. We can have a, you know, YouTube live. We can have whatever where we discuss real estate for the benefit of other people. I'm looking forward to having you guys grow this channel from 1K now. We're going to 2K um, and beyond that. Um, for me, it's more about teaching and, you know, educating people and sharing what I know about real estate. It's not really about the fame or whatever that will come with the, 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 the growth of the channel. For me, it's all about sharing information. If you get to learn something from the channel, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe as well. And make sure you continuously leave a comment. Thank you very much for joining us once again. I hope to see you once again in the next video. If you learned something, make sure you share with somebody. My name is Linda Gushemnisi. Thank you very much for joining me once again. And cheers.